Hey guys, I was just trying out my apple crisp that I just made. So stay tuned for that in this video. So we are gonna be making, like I just said, an apple crisp that is to die for. And the best part about it is that you put it in the crock pot for two hours, set it and forget it type of dessert. Now this video is in collaboration with a few other YouTube mommies, so I will make sure to link the playlist down below. This is for what's called Crocktober, so please make sure to check out that playlist down below. It's a whole bunch of other crock pot meal ideas and a few other desserts. And so we'll just get right into this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Okay, so this is everything that you're going to need for the recipe. One cup of chopped walnuts, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You'll actually need one full teaspoon of cinnamon, but two separate portions. So this is the first portion of half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I'll add another. This is six cups of chopped and peeled apples. Then you have half a cup of butter. I'm actually using Smart Balance, so if you're using the bar of butter, that's fine, and it says to cut it in pieces. I don't have that butter, so we're gonna use this. This is one cup of flour, half a cup of brown sugar. This is half a cup of white sugar. This is one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then it calls for two tablespoons of lemon juice and I'm just going to use this uh, lime right here. I know it's not lemon but this is what I have so that's what I'm going to use. Okay so for the first part of this what we need to do is take the flour And we are going to take the brown sugar, all of that. I'm not going to use as much sugar as recommended because there's supposed to be another one third cup of sugar in here, but to me it just seems excessive. So I'm going to put half of that in here and set this aside for the other part of this recipe. And then it says to work in the butter, which I'll do in a second because I forgot the cinnamon. That's the half a teaspoon of cinnamon and actually quickly, of course, don't forget to wash your hands. I already did that. So I'm going to mix this first. And now this is supposed to be the crumble part of the recipe that we're making right now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the butter and it says to just work everything in with your hands, so we will go ahead and do that. Now hopefully it doesn't melt with my body, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's complete and let's add the last part which is the cup of walnuts. Okay, I decided to <laughs> use a fork for the rest of this, so. Oops. Okay, so I think that's good. That is your crumbly mixture. We'll go ahead and put this to the side. Okay, so in another bowl, I put together the cornstarch, sugar, the remaining white sugar that I had, and the other half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And it's saying to go ahead and whisk this together. So, I'm gonna grab another fork here. I don't have a whisk on me but this will do just fine. As long as it's all incorporated. Okay, and that looks good. Okay, so what I did next is I dumped in the six cups of apples. 
I also put the cornstarch mixture in here and the lemon, or in my case, lime juice in there. And then next I'm going to sprinkle on top the walnut mixture, the, well, the crumb mixture. Okay, and I try to, as evenly as possible, put on that crumble mixture on top. And what we're gonna do is set this on high for two hours. Okay, the lighting is not the greatest, but it is set on at two hours on high with the lid on. Okay, so it's finally cooked for two hours, and then it was sitting because I had to run out real quick, which is the beauty of a crock pot, is that you can run out and leave it to cook. And now it's set to leave the top off and let it cook on low for another hour. So I'm gonna let it actually do this for half an hour. So we'll see what happens after that. But this is how it looks so far. It looks really yummy. I'm not sure if you can see here, but it's bubbling over there. And it's just really soft and very moist. And the point of taking the top off is so that it gets this top portion kind of crunchy. Okay. Got me too. 